Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Fiddlewind playing Project Zomboid. We are now in build 31.9, which has some changes to it. Minor changes. Some of the things you'll notice is there's now a key ring. There are keys on bodies that unlock the doors, and you can put locks on your chests and on things like that. Obviously, we don't need to do that because we're in a single player. Uh, let's see what... Oh, I should probably equip my weapon. I did do some work outside now that I have an axe. I started on my log walls, but I'm stopping for now because it's day to go out and explore the land with you fine people. Uh, let's see, what are some of the other things that changed? Uh, blood blood can be cleaned up using bleach and dish towels uh, or bath towels, which currently or previously were only used to dry off. Let's see what else. There's some new recipes. I don't know them yet. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, shoot, I can't remember it all now. Oh, zombies are no longer as susceptible to fire as they were before. Previously, they would burn. Um, I've been... I'm trying to think. There's other things. I know there's other things. There's zombies up there. I knew there were zombies. There's one. Um, so the zombies can now have keys on them to the houses. And some of the houses are locked and need a key to get into. Uh, or you can bust a window. Zombies will attract each other by making noise. I don't know if that was in the previous version or not, but I've heard that I've this version has if you make too much noise while you're sneaking around them, they'll be attracted to it. They're now long they're now attracted to the sound of you killing another zombie. If he makes enough noise, they'll run over to it, but he didn't, so let's get out of here. We've got some houses over here I'd like to try to get into. There's a horde of them up there. I saw them. I've already tried getting into this house and I couldn't. The windows, yep, yeah, no windows on this side. So I, and I don't want to bust that window out just yet. Not until I've cleaned out some of these zombies around here first. Let's see what we got in here. Can we get in here? Uh, one of the things I dislike is that if you climb through a window and there's furniture in the way, there is no way to get around the furniture, which I find really silly. I'm pretty sure I know how to move a chair. But that is the way it is. I'm hoping they'll fix that eventually. Let's see here. There's stuff in here that is gone bad or is going bad. And I know people said go ahead and, and keep anything that's gone bad. I don't... I've never had a problem with, with food. I've never had a problem with getting food or keeping food, so I'm not going to worry too much about getting rotten stuff. We'll take that vinegar, though, in case we can get some bottling. Oops. I probably ought to put this in the right place. Let's move all this over to the bag. Oh, don't. That's not what I was... Don't. All right, let's try that again. Let's move everything over to the bag. Now, really do it this time. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, so not really a lot of excitement going on. Let's fill our water bottle. That's one of the things we do want to make sure that we're doing in other houses. I do have enough frying pans probably, but I'm going to grab them anyways. There does come a point where you end up getting rid of stuff that you don't need. Let's see here. Sheet of paper. I'll take it. I take those because you can burn them. And then we have a bathroom here that may or may not be occupied. Are you occupied? Nope. And there's nothing really in here anyways. Alright. Off we go. Out of this house and on to the next one. I am still looking for a saw. I still have my fingers crossed that I will come across a saw. That would be very nice. It would allow me to do some more serious construction. Alright. Am I stuck? See, this is what I mean. See, I'm stuck behind the counters. That's problematic to me. All this stuff that they're adding and they can't fix that. <laughs> it would be really nice if they did. Alright, we're clear. Uh, I'm going to get stuck behind a chair. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. Let's see. Nope. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. I think it has to do with the angle, maybe. Is what I'm thinking. There we go. Yogurt. That's interesting. I wonder if it goes bad. It probably does. Yeah, it's still fresh. Hey, we'll take it. I don't think the milk is fresh, though. It's got a negative. Oh, there was a pin there. 
Though I'm pretty sure we've already got a journal. We should do a journal entry. I haven't done a journal entry in a while. Hey, I found a journal journal. <laughs> Though I can rename them anything I want. Anybody in here? Oh, that scared me. <laughs> if I had a cam on my face right now, you would be laughing at me. I jumped. I was so startled by that screaming. There we go. Nothing in here I need. And off we go again. Next. House. Anybody around here? I keep looking for zombies. It's pretty quiet. This neighborhood is deceptively quiet. It concerns me when it's quiet. It usually means something bad's waiting around the corner. Nothing? Okay. Oh no. Oh, random event is starting. Oh dear. Alright, let's grab this stuff and then we need to get back to our house. That helicopter is going to force the zombies to move about. And I do not like that. We could end up running into a horde on the way home. Man. I really didn't really really unhappy with this because it, it did it while we're out mm. all right i'll take a bowl and a, that and coffee and i'll take those uh, so there is a possibility everybody that we could end up running into some s nasties on the way home and we should probably go ahead and get home because we are now full on inventory now we can do a little tricky tricky thing and put stuff into another bag and then put it within the bag and some of them do weight reduction but I don't know if the duffel bags do all right here we go keep our fingers crossed we do not come across any zombies along our way here or at least no big hordes we can handle some smaller hordes and we can always run away from anything too big but yeah, it's time to head back. So I'm going to head back to the house. I'll be right back with you guys. We made it back to the base safe and sound. No zombies encountered yet. Uh, the helicopter event tends to be an all day thing. So I'm probably not going back out in this day. I'm going to throw these pots and pans in here. I need to take them out and go fill them up with water. But I do tend to wait and see if I need to or not from the houses around. Um, so... We're going to end the episode here, and I just want to let you guys know I'm not 100% positive if I'm going to be posting a new episode next week. Mostly because I'm getting married next Wednesday, so I may be a bit busy. I may be too busy to post a video, but we'll see. So I'm definitely going to try, though, because I love doing this. I love playing these games. I love posting these videos. I love sharing it. And I love hearing from you guys. So like, comment, subscribe, become a Finion today, and see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.